Hey guys, welcome back to your RC and yes, this is a video of the miniature air compressor again and why I want to show you a video again is because this is really cute and none of the photo and video shows how cute this is and I just received this so I'm going to show you in this video and hopefully I can uh, portray this how it actually looks like accurately so this is by WPR, this is 110 scale um, there are complaints that why do you make 110 scale when there are more 116 WPRC? Well, in real life, there are different sizes of air compressor as well. So if you put this on your 116 WPRC, it will just look bigger as in real life there's different sizes anyway. It comes in a box as we always ship with box for fragile items and also bubble wrap. So and this is the content inside. So, a box. Mine had auto detach. I'm gonna install it. Okay, and put back the belt as well. Okay, like that. Oh, you can see on the camera. <laughs> this is so damn cute. <laughs> If you look at the photo, it's like nothing, but looking at the actual thing, this is looking from another angle. It's a size like in my palm. Quite big, but I wouldn't say too big. I think this size is just nice because if you make it 116, I think it would look too small to look good. Usually, the bigger is it is, the better, right? So this is the motor. There's a wire going out from here. So not just a static display, but you can actually roll it around. This is like a real thing. My D12 with a 3D printed drift wheel fits just right behind at the back of the D12. So probably your D12 can now become like a support vehicle for your other 110 RC drift. And it's like a scale model, you can carry your tools, your spare parts, everything for your Diorama display. And how about on a 112C44KM? So the size is quite right as well, although a lot of, rather large air compressor. Quite a big air compressor, but that means you can store a lot more press air inside. What if 110 air compressor on a 116 D12 Mini? Really cute one, so it wouldn't really fit. And almost as big as the car itself. Because of different scale. To make it run, you need a single AA battery. Put it in and then secure the cover with a screw over here, that one will drop and just turn it on from a switch here and it looks like you need a good battery to make this work Seems like Huang made some mechanism inside this to make this uh, clicking sound like there's a piston inside <laughs> So it doesn't just continue spinning but it makes that clicking sound as well as if it's pumping uh, compressed air so I think if you are those who are selling a real air compressor, I think this would be a very nice display model, a working display model at office. It looks like the motor is a 130 size inside. So when Huang showed me this, I'm like, why are you making this? What's the fun? What's the point in making a static model? <laughs> but turns out it's actually a working, running model. Just that it doesn't pump compressed air. You have to be clear that this doesn't pump compressed air. It doesn't store compressed air as well. But it's a very nice static model that has working wheels and sound. So a really nice touch. Alright, so that's all for the video. So you can check out the description for a link to this product. If you want to get one. Well, the video may not do its justice, but when you get one, you will really love this. <laughs> it's really very, very, very cute. Alright, so please like and subscribe if you have not done so. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.